Hello guys, this video is made in collaboration with ScanBot SDK. And in this video you will learn how to implement ScanBot SDK to build a barcode scanner in Android Studio. Let's start by adding the dependencies to our project. Replace this with the latest version, currently the latest version is 3.7.0. Now let's add the camera permission in our Android manifest file. Now let's create a class named app and extend it to application. To use ScanBot SDK we have to initialize its SDK and license before our activity starts. So we are initializing the SDK here. First let's create a string variable for license. ScanBot SDK have various types of pricing for license. You can also try their 7 day trail for free. To get a free trial enter your application ID in this website and complete the below details, you will get your license instantly. Now copy this license and paste it in the app.java file. Since we want to initialize the SDK as soon as the app is started, we will add the initializer in the onCreate function. The following code will initialize the SDK. Now in Android manifest file let's set name as app in the application tag. Now let's code the UI. In activity main.xml we have to add scanbot camera x view and finder overlay view. To display the scanned result, let's create a layout for our bottom sheet. Let's upgrade the material dependency version so that we can add drag handle to our bottom sheet layout. In this layout let's add a drag handle, an image view to display the scanned code and two text views to display the format of the code and the text value of the code.
Now let's dive into mainactivity.java file. First let's create scanbot camera x view variable followed by barcode detector frame handler variable. Then let's create an activity result launcher to handle camera permission result. In the onCreate method first let's assign the camera X view. In this code, the onCamera open function is called when the camera is available. If the camera is open then we are focusing the camera at an interval of 300 milliseconds using Runnable. Now let's create new scanbot barcode detector variable and initialize it. Then let's assign the barcode detector frame handler that we created above. Now let's set the barcode detection interval. This is the interval at which the barcode frame handler scans for a code. And let's add a result handler to handle the result if the frame handler successfully scans a code. Let's get the result of the frame handler and check if it is not null. If the result is not null then let's show the scan result in a bottom sheet. Let's disable the barcode detector frame handler so that it doesn't keep scanning while the bottom sheet is open. We should create the bottom sheet dialog inside the run on UI thread. Otherwise the app will crash, since result handler is a thread and bottom sheet dialog view cannot be inflated inside a thread. Now let's declare the text views and set values to it.
Then let's declare the image view and set the bitmap of the scanned code to the image view. Let's then add bottom sheet dialog dismiss listener and when the bottom sheet is dismissed, let's enable the barcode detector frame handler so that we can scan codes again. Then let's set the aspect ratio of the finder overlay view. We can only pass the aspect ratio as array list. I've set the width and height as 200 in order to get the overlay in square shape. In the on resume method let's add permission check. If the camera permission is not granted, then let's request the camera permission using activity result launcher. And finally in the on pause method let's stop the camera preview, so that this app won't be using the device camera in the background. Now let's run this app. Oops. An error. I figured out the cause of the error. It's because I have unfortunately not added the ScanBot SDK UI dependency correctly. I forgot to include barcode in the dependency. Let me just copy and paste it from above. Now this should work. Great! Now let's see this app in action. Let's try scanning this QR code first. As you can see the result bottom sheet dialog shows the QR code image, code format and text content of the code correctly. Now let's try with barcode. It works perfectly. You can find these website link in the description below. Thank you for watching, make sure to like, share and comment and don't forget to subscribe. Happy coding!